Thank you all for tuning in logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Already on Illuminati Radio, I am your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Lamig Israel. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You're going to be notified when we drop this juicy news. Also, if you want to donate to this ministry, the donation link in the description box below. Lil Wayne, um, his... Trial keep or sentences keep getting pushed, keep getting pushed. Now let me tell you something. You all know what I say when a gun is involved. It means you got a decision to make. Kodak Black got locked up for falsifying a gun application at a gun store to get a gun. That's a gun. Valley of decision. He had a decision to make because. While that was going on, his rape charge was getting postponed and postponed. So, they sentenced him to 48 months in prison. Not only that, you got a lot of other gun charges. I heard of Kevin Gates. Oh, Kevin Gates was calling in the Valley of Decision also. Uh, who else? Um, Young Jeezy. Um, who else? Um, Nelly. You know what I'm saying? A lot of rappers caught up in the Valley of Decision. Recent rappers, Little TJ caught up in the Valley of Decision. When you come into this Valley of Decision, it means you got a decision to make. I mean, you got to do some things for some change. You might have to do a sacrifice. But let's go ahead. Go ahead, Brother Israel. All right. We got Mr. Tunchi, a.k.a. Lil Wayne, a.k.a. Baby's son, a.k.a. his lover, Lil Wayne. We can check out news.com. This is coming from article headline, Lil Wayne given sentencing date in federal firearms case on January 1st, 2020. Rapper Lil Wayne's sentencing has been postponed in his federal weapons case. Last month, we did plead guilty to illegally possessing a firearm after a search of Lil Wayne's designer bag. Cops found a gold-plated 45 caliber Glock handgun with a pearl grip. Which happened to be, could be a charm. You know, see, that's why it was a, it was a reason why they explained and it had to be so fancy and you know what I'm saying gold plated with the pearl grip. You know what I'm saying that seemed to me to be a charm. You know what I'm saying something that he needed, something that is specifically for him, designed specifically for him. Told me it was a gift from his father. Go ahead. Last month, Weezy, uh, he told officers the gun was a Father's Day gift. A Father's Day gift? Isn't Father's Day in all? Not only that, I think his father died. Because that's why, because I heard this, I remember the story of um, Birdman and Lil Wayne and and Birdman took responsibility for Lil Wayne when Lil Wayne was a little, little, little youngin, and Birdman is the one that raised up Lil Wayne. I think Bird, I think Lil Wayne's father died or something happened. With, and he says a father they give, or maybe he father gave it to you when you was a child. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, you guys, let me know in the comment section. But I'm pretty sure I read a news report or I read something that Lil Wayne's father died. But go ahead. Officers also reported that they found ammunition, cocaine, ecstasy, heroin, marijuana, painkillers, and prescription strength cough syrup. And a lot of cash. 
Holy crap. That was something that was planted on this boy. That was a mouthful. What are you, you trying to build a pharmaceutical company? Yeah. Hey, come on, man. Number one, Lil Wayne. I don't think Lil Wayne would be that stupid. I don't think Lil Wayne would be that stupid enough to carry all that stuff on an airplane. I mean, I don't, I don't understand, you know, if you need to take the guns somewhere, but ammunition, cocaine, ecstasy, heroin, marijuana, painkillers, prescription strength, cough syrup, and a lot of cash. Like, damn. Mm-hmm. Planted that. Punch? You know what I'm saying? Like, what you got? Because if anything, he should be get charged with trafficking. Yeah. You don't say. On another, on another level. Exactly. Intent to distribute. 50 counts of that. <laughs> he so far has not been charged for any drug uh, possession charge. Has not been charged for any drug possession charge. So what's the sense of you even... So why report on yeah. pain, see heroin, marijuana, pain, uh, killers, and prescription strength cough syrup? If he ain't charged with it. Because that's a federal offense too. That's a... Tra trafficking. On a, and, and not only that, on a plane. So, so why ain't you being charged with it? Yeah, that, 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 yeah, I bet if I had, I'm charged with it. Yeah, it, it, it. Right along with the pistol. Right along with the pistol. Yeah, I'm not getting out of that. There's... I can get the best lawyer in the world. I can get the richest lawyer in the world. I, I was still not mm -hmm. at that trial. They locking my ass up. Mm -hmm. Weezy said this thing was slated for January 28, 2021. But according to all hip hop, U.S. District Judge Kathleen Williams have moved this sentencing hearing date back to March 4th. So he moved it, so he got until March 4th to come up with a blood sacrifice. He got until March 4th to kill somebody. Yeah, because originally it was uh, 128-21, and now he got up until 3 four, twenty. Mm hmm So Lil Wayne, you got a decision to make. What what they want you to what they want you to kill uh Regine Carter? Oh, do they want to? Oh, do they want you to kill your children that you got by Nivea? What child is it gonna be, Wayne? Gotta make a decision quick because March fourth is coming around soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, is it Nivea? Could it be Nivea? You know the singer Nivea, or Nivea's child that she got with Lil Wayne? Could it be? Um, how's um, Nivea doing right now? Oh, she doing bad. She's out there smoking crack. Doing bad. How, how's the child doing? Uh, if she's smoking crack, I'm pretty sure her children probably is in the custody of her, their relatives or something. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it probably wouldn't be Nivea. It'll probably be one of his children. He'll yeah. get more from them. Yeah, we, we'll have to see. We, we'll, we'll see. But, well, we got until March. We do have until March. Mm -hmm. Actually, we might get more hints before that day. Yeah, exactly. January 28th, we might get uh, another hint. Because that was the original uh, slated date for him to uh, be sent to his sentencing was. But you best believe we'll be bringing you the news. So make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell. That's it, Brother Israel? Yes. Uh, there is no allegation. We his attorney, Howard Serbnik. Release a statement addressing the charge. There is no allegation that he ever fired it, brandished it, used it, or even threatened to use it. Serbnik said, per New York Times, there is no allegation that he is a dangerous person. The charge is that because he was convicted of a felony in the past and he is prohibited from possessing a firearm, which he already knows. Yeah. He's, this is not his first rule. He, he got locked up for this before. Yeah. So again, we go back to the question, why are you going to have a pistol? Why would you even be bold enough to carry a pistol? No, and good and well, no, and good and well, you, you are a convicted felon. Now, I can see if you had a pistol and you're in your house. But you're in the public. You're not white, Lil Wayne. 
You stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, yeah, you definitely you 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 look like Father Time. You look like a gremlin right now. <laughs> you know what? You might just be. Ah, uh, no, I can't do that because then you might sue me for uh, uh, using your photo. So I'm gonna scratch that. <laughs> uh, that's the end of the article. All right, we want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Lamig Israel. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop this juicy news. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Also, if you want to donate to the ministry, the donation link in the description box below. And if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page. P-S-T-R, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you. Yeah. Uh-huh.